Hello friends, this video on visualizing shapes part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's look at the 3D objects. Let's look at the different views of a 3D object. So here we will look at three different views. Front view, top view and side view. An interesting thing about the three dimensional object is that when you look at the same object from different views, you see the object differently. Let's take the example of this insect. So front view of the insect, you get to see the insect somewhat like this. Now, let tell me something. In all these three pictures, do you think that you see you are seeing the same insect? Yes, we are seeing the same insect. But are we seeing it exactly similar in all the three views? No, the three views are very much different from each other. Why is why is that so? Now that's because any three dimensional object has three different parameters, length, breadth and height. Now from whichever side we are seeing that object, we are only able to see only that side of the object. For example, front view of this insect. So we are definitely not able to see how the wings would look like from top because from when we look at from the front, they just look like a straight line. We are not able to see the entire width of the wing. But the same wings when seen from the top view, you get to see all the minute details of the wings. Again, when you look at it from the side view, you see one pair of um, wings, but the other pair is not very distinctly visible. So depending on from which view you are seeing that object, the object's appearance would change. Let's take another example of a house. Let's say this is the top view of a house. When you look at it from the top, you get to see the roof very clearly, but you do not see other details that much. When you look at it from the front view, this is how it looks, where you do not see all the portion of the roof. When you look at it from the side view, this is how it looks. You see only half portion of the roof and the other half is not seen. So in this fashion, every three dimensional object will have different views when seen from front, top or side. So with whatever we have learned so far, let us try out a few exercises. For each of the given solid, the two views are given. Match for each solid the corresponding top and front views. Okay, this is going to be interesting. So the first object we have is a weight. Right, normally a heavy coin which you would have seen that the shopkeepers use to weigh, uh, weigh stuffs like groceries or vegetables. Now, what do you think would be the side view of this weight? So when you look at this weight from side, you, you will be able to see only this portion. So this is how it would look. So this is the side view of this weight and the top view from the top you would be able to see this file, whatever is written over here. So this would match to the last one. The flask. So when you look at the flask from the side view, it looks slightly different but more or less the same flask. But when you look at it from top, you will only be able to see the top portion of the cap. So it, it would look somewhat like this. You see, you see the top portion of the cap here and only a small part of the bottom. Cup and saucer. So from side view, it would be like this. Yes. And from the top view, from top view, you just see the uh, periphery of the cup and the saucer. So it would look like this. You just see the periphery of the cup like this. You see its handle and you see the periphery of the saucer. Fourth one is a container. So when you look at the container from side view, this is how it looks. You just see the side part. And when you look at it from the top view, you see the lead of the container and just the top portion. So this is how you would do the matching. For each given solid, identify the top view, front view and side view. So this is the given solid. And this, this would mean the side view. When you see it from this side, that's side view. When you see it from here, that's top view. And when you see it from the front, that's front view. So when you see it from the front, what would you see? You would be able to see this square, this square and this square. So the side squares you will not be able to see. So basically this will be your front view. Now when you look at it from the side view, so from side view you will be able to see this one and also this one. 
because both of these are facing sideways. So you will see two squares. So that means this is the side view. And when you look at it from top, you get to see the squares located on the top. One, two, three, and four. So four squares like this, that's the top view. Let's try another one. So here in this case, how the top view would be. So when you look at it from top, you would be able to see the square on the top. And this is also on the top. So you will see two squares on the top, right? So this is your top view. Now, when you look at it from side, what all do you see? So from side view, you will see the squares which are located facing the side. So you will see this one, this one and this one. So basically you see three squares. So that means this is your side view. And when you look at it from front, you see this one, this one, this one and this one. So basically four squares. So this is your front view. So you are given a dice, you have to draw the front view, side view and top view of the given object. Now let's start with the top view. So how would the top view look like? So from the top view, since this is a cube, you will not see all the faces. You will just see the face which is on the top. So on the top, you have the face with the marking two. So this is how the top view would look like. When you look at it from the side, again, you would only see the square which is facing that side. So you would see this from the side. And when you look at it from the front, you will again look only at this square which is facing the front. So these would be the top side and front views respectively. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.